Welcome back to the Pig Trail. It is time for our recruiting report. And as always, Richard Davenport with the Arkansas Democrat Gazette and Whole Hog Sports is joining us. Richard, we got a couple of guys for the football team to talk about. The 2019 class, Amante Spivey. He is 207 pounds, six ones, a running back, and he's hoping to make his decision on August 6th. Where does he stand in terms of Arkansas? He visited, he and his mother visited Arkansas in early June for four days on an unofficial visit. I mean, they paid their own way. I mean, you're pretty serious about a school when you visit uh, for four days and, uh, and pay your own dime. So uh, he and Coach Trailer have an excellent relationship. Uh, his mother really likes Coach Trailer too. If you, if you have a relationship with the coach and your mother has a good relationship with the coach, that's a plus. He does, like you said, plan to announce his decision August 6th. He also has plans to visit Arkansas in, uh, for the Alabama game. So uh, Arkansas has always been in good shape with uh, Monte, and I, I think uh, they still remain that way uh, going into his decision. Well, Anthony Wigan, he's another 2019 guy, an old lineman, Juco guy as well, 300 pounds, 6'5". He plans to make a visit to Arkansas in the fall. How big is it to get him on campus? It's really big because he, he's a guy that uh, definitely is uh, all the uh, schools are going after because he's a December graduate, ha has the ability to obviously uh, go through spring practice and offseason next year and compete for a starting job. And uh, he would be coming into a, a very good situation at Arkansas, and he understands that. That's why he wants to make an official visit to Arkansas in the fall. Uh, he's got a good relationship with Coach Fry and uh, uh, really starting to get to know one another. They kind of have the sa uh, same likes and dislikes. and. Uh, uh, it just seems like that they're they're really developing that relationship. And the thing is with him, he's an extremely athletic guy. You can tell he's he's got the physical physical tools to play on the next level uh, where, wherever he goes. And he's, he is intrigued by the SEC. And another thing at Lackawanna uh, uh, Junior College, where he is right now, he's very well coached. You can tell by his technique and his uh, his fundamentals. And that that right there will only help him get on the field next year. Uh, at, the, at whatever school he picks, it, even easier. Well, another O lineman, this one in the 2020 class, Andrew Rame. He is 305 pounds, 6'4. He will attend the Woo Picnic barbecue on July 27th, but he recently decommitted from Oklahoma. Do you know anything about why he decided to reopen his commitment? Hey, he just wanted to look around and visit some other schools and make sure he's 100% certain before he makes, the, uh, makes his final decision. Obviously, he's got plenty of time to do that. He's only going into his junior season. And uh, he did visit Arkansas back in February, really liked it. His father was very impressed. He's, he's, he, he, and he's another guy that's developed a really good relationship with Coach Fry, and that's really big. That getting back on campus again is, is big. I think Arkansas is going to be a player for him uh, until the day he makes his decision. Well, let's talk a little bit about basketball. Will Baker, 2019 center. He is seven feet tall, and Arkansas coaches actually saw him a couple times this week. What do you like about him? All right, well, he's very skilled, and he, he's a guy that can score in the paint. He's a guy that can, uh, has a good mid-range game, and he can also uh, hit the three. He's a guy that, uh, you know, if you look at Coach Anderson, what he likes to do with uh, all positions, he gives, gives uh, his guys a lot of freedom. And, you know, you've seen that with bigs of Bobby Portis, and then uh, uh, obviously uh, Daniel Gafford is not a guy that steps outside very often, but you, you've seen that with Bobby Portis. And, and I think a guy that has that over overall game like uh, Will does, he, he's very he, he sh should be very attracted to the uh, Arkansas uh, program, but at the same time, he's, he's one of the top prospects in the country. Arkansas just has to get him on campus. Well, Richard, as you know, it is Mike Irwin's 70th birthday. We are celebrating it today. Is there anything you want to say just to wish him a happy birthday? Yeah, I would. I want to tell Mike he's my favorite uh, hippie and uh, happy birthday, uh, Mike. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure he will appreciate that one. And also, it is sadly our last time doing a recruiting report with you, Richard. It has been so much fun talking with you every Sunday. We thank you so much for your time. We've really appreciated having you here on the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, we'll always be a part of the Pig Trail Nation. Richard, thank you so much. That's going to do it for your recruiting report, guys. We'll be back after the break.